the residential area to the main mile road, there's a chance you could slide there. So it's it's still treacherous and dangerous, but we're working around the clock. Mr. Thompson, I don't know if you're looking at your uh, TV screen at the moment, but uh, we've got live pictures uh, right now on, on Channel 7. We just had a car oh, going, uh, going by pulling a gentleman on skis. Uh, I don't know what road this is in particular, but uh, we see a little bit of everything. But, yeah, that's not something we really recommend on a night like tonight. It's horrendous, and um, that driver would certainly get a ticket if there was a police officer in that area, very dangerous. In addition to the main thoroughfares, you know, the mile roads and uh, DeQuinder and Ryan and, and, and all these thoroughfares you want to keep uh, clean. Well, we have 65 main streets, 365 residential streets, so we have well over 400 miles of streets. So it's a gargantuan task to get all this done. But as I say, I'm very appreciative of our DPW workers who did a great job on August 11th after the great storm. And they're doing the same thing today, and we're working around the clock, and I'm confident that our roads are now the best in the country. We hope to start working on our residential streets early this morning, but we're still working on the main mile roads as of now. Right. All right. Mayor Fouts will interrupt you there a moment. You mentioned that he'd get a ticket, that individual who was being pulled by that car in your in your, your jurisdiction, in your municipality. Looks like that's about to happen. And here. we can tell you that uh, the uh, police have this uh, car and this individual pulled over right now. We're watching it uh, live here on Channel 7. I mean, I understand that, uh, you know, you might want to have some fun with the conditions, but uh, clearly that's a dangerous thing. And... Uh, it's going to be a price to be paid for that.